everybody, it's Campfire Trish, and I'm coming at you from inside my house. Well, as you can see, Christmas has definitely, um, the holiday season has definitely uh, been happening here in the household, and uh, today I am, this is, um, let's see, part two of my holiday season uh, series, holiday season series, um, the second annual, and today it's all about um, the appetizers. So we all love to have some appetizers. We, we're going to parties. We needed to take something, or hopefully we're going to some parties. We need something to take, a snack, a potluck, something like that, maybe a work event, or it's, you know, Christmas Eve and you want to have some yummy snacks um, uh, that evening because you don't, or, you know, in the evening time. Um, this is um, some quick and easy recipes that you can definitely try. It's some of our favorites and I'm throwing in a brand new one. So I think I'm doing three, three recipes. So let's get to it. All right. For my first recipe, um, I am just saying I have, um, the oven is preheating, preheating to 375. So that is happening as I am making these uh, yummy appetizers. The first one I'm making is a hot ham and cheese dip. This is a fan favorite. My kiddo, my daughter, has already been asking for it already this year. Uh, so it is two blocks of cream cheese and I have had them at room temperature for probably a couple of hours. So they're still cool to the touch, but they're definitely um, soft. And then all it is is the uh, cream cheese and I'm going to add some ham. This is so simple. Mm -hmm. and then um, about two cups of cheese so again super simple we're gonna mix it up and it's gonna go into the oven with all the other appetizers and then it is done And I'm going to set this aside and we'll start making our next appetizer. All right, for my second appetizer, this is um, something that is definitely one of my uh, son's favorites. This is buffalo chicken dip. So I've got some um, canned, there's my oven preheated. Um, I've got some canned chicken. I'm just kind of breaking it up a little bit. And then I'm going to add. Um, block of cream cheese. You can use the light cream cheese if you want, but I'm just gonna start breaking this cream cheese up a little bit. And I'm gonna add cheese. Some ranch dip, a ranch dressing. If you like blue cheese, you can add blue cheese if you like. And you can see I'm kind of eyeballing it. I'm not really measuring anything. I just kind of do it until it looks right. And this is some Frank's Buffalo. And I'm just going to incorporate this together until it's well mixed. All right, so that's pretty good. He likes it where there's kind of big patches of cream cheese, so I'm not gonna um, mix it totally, incorporate it totally right, but um, that is it right there. And now let's move on to the third one, which is a tad more complicated than these two. All right, so for the last appetizer, again, I told you it's gonna be a little bit more complicated, First off, we're going to make the dip. It's going to be a pulled apart spinach uh, dip or spinach tree. So I've got some well drained spinach there. Um, and I just make sure it was squeezed to try to remove as much of that moisture as I possibly can. And I'm going to add, you guessed it, right? Another package, an eight ounce package of cream cheese. Oh, wait, we're should have bought stock and cream cheese this weekend. 
And I'm going to add some garlic, just some squeezed garlic. I'm gonna add, I'm guesstimating here, but about a half a cup, or maybe a quarter cup, excuse me, of um, mayonnaise and a quarter cup of um, sour cream. Again, another guesstimate. I could have totally taken my measuring cup out and measured it, but you know, I'm living on the edge. Uh, and then we're gonna do some, uh, I'm gonna add some Parmesan oregano. Actually, this has got Asiago in it as well. And about a cup of mozzarella. And this is an Italian blend. Just gonna guesstimate there. And this is normally a pound, so it's got four cups in it. Let me just mix this up. And then we're gonna see what our next steps are. Now what would be totally cute in this recipe is some sun-dried tomatoes or um, actually um, fire roasted peppers. Cut them up really fine or pimentos and add it to this for a little bit of color. And you'll see why the color would be so awesome in just a few moments. All right, so next up is I have some crescent rolls. I'm gonna open up the package. I'm going to roll them out right here. This recipe I've never done before, so I'm really excited. Hopefully it will work well. I want to just close up these seams, just like that. And next up, if you want to take a little, um, you can always take a, a rolling pin if you want to this too to help that out, but I'm not. Um, but next up, I'm just going to move my camera a smidgen. Add in that dip. A couple little spots. And we're going to spread it right onto the roll. And next up, we're going to roll it into a roll. Just like that. And a nice little roll. All right, and I'm just going to slice these into little pinwheels. And now I just took those little pinwheels and put them into the shape of a Christmas tree. And now everything's gonna go into the oven for at 375 for 20 minutes. We'll check on them. And the um, dips might need to go a little bit longer, but um, we'll check and see, but I think these will be ready. Let's get them in the oven. 20 minutes has passed on the dot and look at that, that is beautiful. See how the, if there was some like red pimentos um, in it, that would pop out, look like a little Christmas tree for sure. And then here are the dips. The dips are bubbly and a little bit extra spinach dip <laughs> um, to um, spinach dip <laughs> to um, little ones um, professing her love to me upstairs. So cute. Um, but there's a little bit of spinach dip, a little extra I can have too. So we're going to eat those up in just a few minutes. All right. So here I've got my appetizers. I'm sitting in front of the Christmas tree. First thing I'm going to try is, um, it's a it's a safe bet that it will be good because it always is good, 
is the hot ham and cheese dip. Here it is. And it is, as always, yummy. That was with a, um, one of those Ritz crackers thingies, puffs, whatever they're called. And here is the buffalo chicken dip on a tortilla chip. Good. It would be better if my tortilla chip wasn't stale. <laughs> I think I'll have to open. There's only a few left in the bag. I might have to go open another bag. But, it's not bad. And here's that. Pull apart pinwheel spinach dippy thingy. This is good. Look at that yumminess in the middle. Delicious. So, that was um, three appetizers. They're all definitely a win for any holiday festivities or potlucks or um, Christmas Eve or um, any type of um, dinner. You can just do appetizers for dinner like we're doing tonight. But um, yeah, super simple, super easy. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, next week is um, brunch, Christmas brunch. So, um, so yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. And until next time, 